Howdy, peeps. Welcome back to Colat. <laughs> I don't know where we are. Oh, hey! Hey, buddy! I died. Okay, that's a really good start to the game. What is that? A, is that a record? Less than a minute, and I'm dead. <laughs> so I need to get to grip with this compass. Oh, is it still lurking? So that's where we are on the map. Okay, I get that. C. C means camp, right? What does the green and the black bit mean? I don't know what it's supposed to symbolize. But you know what? We're gonna... Okay, he's out there! Oh god. Let's head this way. I don't know. Let's just go. And. Not that way. Or that way. Okay, this isn't gonna. Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna die again! Can't see me. I'm in the grass. There you go. I think the red on the oh, God damn it. The red and the C on the compass means camp. What the other bit is, I I yeah. Hello! Hey buddy! Thanks. <laughs> ah! What? Oh man. I don't want to suck in this video. What the hell? I'm gonna head the opposite direction to where that thing is coming from. I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Looks like a fiery demon shape of a person doesn't like seeing other people. Oh. What? What is it? Like, <laughs> why does it instantly kill me? Doesn't want to reason with me, clearly. You know, we could talk it through and see what the issue is and try and resolve things. Both be on our way without any death. But no. I have no idea where I'm going. Should we head back to camp, if that is what that is on the compass? Hmm. So, is this like a... Oh. It is. It is a frozen river. Lake. Whatever. Can we keep going this way? Let's go up. Let's try and get a bird's eye view of what the freaking hell is going on. Well, hello! Do I read it? Seversk is a closed city in Tomsk Oblast, Russia. Located 15 kilometers, 9.3 miles northwest of Tomsk on the right bank of the Tom River and is in the hand of Rosatom, the Federal Atomic Energy Agency founded in 1949. It was known as Payat Pochjovi 
town status was granted to it in 1956. It comprises uh, several nuclear reactors and chemical plants for separation, enrichment and reprocessing of uranium and plutonium. The headquarters of Russia of the Russia Russian Research Unit for Natural uh, Phenomena until 1991 called the Soviet Research Unit. Okay. The unit's activities concern research on occurring natural disasters in Russia. Okay. Okay, so we found a dead body or a skeleton. Let me in! Okay. Uh, um, there's a rumble. I don't like it. Is that thing tracking me? I don't know. Man, like the wind and the snow and the, the darkness it is. It's mind blowing. It's so realistic as well. The graphics are just. This is an indie game. Blimey. Oh, hey. What's this? Another note. Well, hello. Saving, yes. Uh, the Soviet Research Unit... Yeah, the Soviet Research Unit for Natural Phenomena regarding the occurrence of an, an anomaly... An anomaly, even. OH-91. First instance took place in 1950 and 1953 in the area of Igarka, the construction of the Transpolar Mainline. The works uh, were halted and the incidents classified. Any witnesses were ordered to be eliminated. What the frick? On the 17th of October 1950, according to witness evidence, at the same altitude as Camp 503 to the west of Igaka City, an emanation of unknown force and source occurred and caused instant death of 42 workers. The bodies literally evaporated and only shadows were left. As the witnesses testified, the incident was a sudden was was sudden and short. The next incident took place three years later on March 14th, 1953. Then, also in the above mentioned camp, a solidification effect occurred. The bodies of 12 workers just froze. After autopsy, they were declared dead. Duh. The bodies are still lying in uh, intact in section 12 of the Seversk Research Complex. Let me up! I feel... I feel exposed right now to the elements and whatever else is out here. I want to get up. Yeah, like this way. The rumble, what is that rumble? Follow the moon. Okay! Uh, so, you know I said I wanted to go that way. Um, I changed my mind. I, I just think it would be really in every back here. Are you shitting me? Is that the same spot? I just think it would be in everybody's best interest if we didn't go that way, you know? I just really think we should go this way. What is that stalking the forest? I don't know, man. 
it is giving me the heebie-jeebies. Okay. Well, I hope there's only one of them. Whatever it is. I don't want to have to fight multiple fire demons. I think we've been here. We've been here already. Oh, crap. Get up, man! Okay, that's not happening. Here we go, here we go, get up there. I just... I... <laughs> I don't know where to go! I don't know what to do! And we're getting cut off. Two, two directions of where to go and we've not been able to. Do I head back to camp? Can I head back to camp? Whew. Have any of, uh, have any of you peeps played this? How did you get on? Did you, uh, did you struggle as much as I am? Hang on, is this the way we came? I don't know if having the compass out is, is having any real effect, whether it's useful or not. But... Can anyone confirm as well? Am I right in thinking? I don't want to Google it and ruin it, but if you can comment and let me know, that'd be amazing. Is that Red Sea? Is that camp? And what is the other symbol? What does this mean? What is it symbolizing? A few drop frames there. Nothing, nothing to be concerned about, though. Okay. It's kind of... The wind has died down. I don't know whether it's because we're in between sort of two... Sort of mountainous areas. I don't know. Or whether something is going to happen. Do I hear a note flapping in the wind? What is that? Yes! Yes it is. Whew! Okay. Mysterious lights above the... Cosmodrome? Cosmodrome? Sorry. Uh, mysterious events in the sky were noted during the night of the 4th to the 5th of July. Witnesses testified that they had seen a bright orange sphere which had crossed the sky above the city several times, moving chaotically and immediately changing its direction of flight. Finally, it stopped and disappeared. Major Gierke, uh, an aviation professional, confirms it is possible for any flying object we know to move like that. Oh no, it's impossible for any flying object uh, we know to move like that. The military and the Cosmodrome's personnel answered our questions in a short and firm way by distancing themselves to the event, informing there was no activity in the area, as well as there were no tests performed. Okay, so it's kind of... That's a couple of references we've had to the orange-ness. The orange skin of the deceased, the Russian students. The orange dust, or whatever the freaking hell that was, chasing us through the woods. And now, the note, the orange object in the sky, moving chaotically. Freaking hell. Oh, hey. Go free or do we go? Is it sixty nine seventy one? 
so that's where we are, is it? Okay. Well. making me feel cold it's making me f feel isolated and because it's like a, a realistic environment it kind of I don't know it, it hits home a bit more it, it just kind of the, the setting I hear another note I'm a safe point Whoop. we are sitting in room number 23 Although sitting might not be the right word because we are running around trying to finish up packing anything else we could need. Uh, food cans, tools, essentially whatever we get our hands on. We want to be sure that we took everything we could possibly need. We're running out of time. Damn it, where did I put my belt? I'm sure we forgot about something. We're almost ready. We lost the knife. We're counting the money. We're leaving the room in a complete mess. So, we made it to the train station. We're singing all the songs we know and making up new ones as well. Everyone is so excited. Finally, at around 3 a.m., we go to bed. I wonder, what is awaiting us when we get there? What will we see? How far will we make it? I hear the rest of the group breathing peacefully and it's snowing outside. So that sounds like it's a note from one of the students. Um, hey, what's that glowing? You see that? We are heading straight for that son of a bitch. <laughs> what was that? attack ah okay I'm gonna take a breather there <laughs> it's just saved at that note so we can we're gonna head for that glow see if we can get there without dying and yeah I hope you've enjoyed the progress it's such a cool little uh I say little it's such a cool game so far and it really the atmospherics so like the, the the environment just the wind alone is sending shivers at my spine so I'm impressed so far. Hopefully, I'll be continue to be impressed. And yeah, appreciate you taking the time out to watch this. Love you for it. See you in the next episode. So until then, as always, ciao for now. This. <gasps> oh. I didn't hear a word you just said. So we can steer left and right. Dive bomb. Oh yeah.